In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the upstream oxygen sensor on this Mazda 6. Let's get started. On the passenger side of the engine, if you follow this blue wire, you'll see the connector for the sensor. Press on that tab, grab the wire, try to wiggle it out of its socket of the uh, connector there. And there we go. Let's disconnect the wire off of the retainer that's right here by the connector. You can just pry the two little tabs of the screwdriver or use a trim tool, whatever you have. That will work. There we go. When it comes to these retainers, you're gonna have to pry out on the, or pry down on this tab and take the wire out. This one is actually rusted out for me, so I'm going to remove it completely. There is nowhere where it can attach, and this is actually just gonna make a bunch of rattling noises on the, or while the engine is running. So I'm better off removing it. You would wanna do this anyway, but this will be uh, stationary there. At this point, once you get to the sensor part, you're gonna need an oxygen sensor socket. You can use a 22 millimeter wrench, but there isn't really too much space here. So I'm gonna drop my socket on it, extension and a ratchet and break it free. Remove your tool, if you can spin it by hand, which hopefully you can. And unthread it from the exhaust. There it is. Install the new O2 sensor, thread it in, make sure it goes on smoothly, and turn the wire as you do this, that way it doesn't get all twisted up. There we go. As soon as it bottoms out, we still have to tighten it up with our tool so that it's actually tight. So put that O2 sensor socket on it. Once again, if you have room for a 22 millimeter wrench, you can use that as well. There's a crush washer in there and that's what's going to seal it up. So as soon as you squish that down a little bit, you can stop. There we go, that's good. Let's resecure our wire onto the uh, hangers here. Make sure that it's far away from the exhaust. Obviously, if you still had this one, secure that one as well. I'm going to have to use a wire tie on this because I don't have a new uh, clip to secure this. There we go. Let's cut off the excess. Now take the connector, line it up, press it into its plug, make sure it clicks. There you have it. Now turn on the vehicle and make sure everything is running right. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.